Our Giant is a very hands-on type of game, where you have control over a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything. Dudes, I'm Rodal, the creator of Rival Rebels. Please help me out promoting the game. Tell your friends about our Giant. Let's hype about it. The more people gets involved, the better. Thanks a Megaton! Okay, in this video we will try out the airbrush, the tool that lets you customize your ship's appearance. We carry it on our belt, the same way we carry the pliers. The airbrush gun has three tiny canisters on the top to inject the primary colors, a battery on the back, and a nozzle projector. Yeah, it's another wonder tool, like the shaper, that lets you do a lot with very little. To use it, we need to point it at any modular part, like the cockpit glass. Well, this is not the best example. Neither is this. But, if you click on the fuselage, the ship body, you can customize all the parts which are attached to it. This is the color palette, which only lets us use the paints we have unlocked. The discovery system will unlock more paints as you progress through the game. We enter the virtual paint room, a sort of scene within the scene that lets you orbit over and under the object to make the customization process as easy as possible. You can click any area, even parts inside the cockpit, if you zoom in until you clip through. This is the decals box, where we have different fonts, markings, and insignia. In the tweaking box, we have a color picker and lots of sliders to change the decals. Size, rotation, width, outline width, outline brightness, and grunge intensity, the scratches and paint peeling that make it look rough and tough. There's also the light emission brightness of the decal, and the symbol flipping toggle for asymmetric decals that you want to mirror. I added support for many alphabets, as well as a ton of exclusive icons that I created. Also, some of the markings will be locked. For example, if a faction owns a symbol and you are not a part of that faction, you will not be able to use it. The GUIs are very similar to the ones in the Sky Clone, the player customization scene. After trying out different ideas, I'm simplifying the GUI concept to make it very practical and easy to use. I think that using floating boxes for everything is the way to go. It is not visually the coolest, but, in terms of practicality, it is very powerful. I mean, we can rearrange and resize the interface any way we like it, or readjust it depending on the device we are using. The saves box is not done yet. That's where you keep the different schemes you come up with, so you can store different schemes for different occasions. If you join a faction that has a designated paint scheme, it will show up here as an option, to easily color coordinate a squadron of ships. I'm also planning to make it possible for you to share and trade paint schemes. Well, there's lots to do. I need to hire a team to help me out. Crowdfunding the game is the only option that I really have to afford it, and to stay independent. I'm gonna start selling early access as soon as possible to cover the team's wages and all the expenses like the servers and other stuff. Okay guys, please help me out promoting the game. Thanks a Megaton! Rodal out.